Well, hello everybody. What on earth is going on? The last 36 hours up here, it's been blowing a hooli. My trees have taken a battering and indeed quite a bit of the rest of the garden has also taken a bit of a bashing. It's absolutely relentless. I've never known anything like it. I don't know if you guys have got strong winds in the areas where you are, but today up here, I've had a job to stand up at times. I have been cleaning off the deck. I was going to give that a good scrub today with a view to putting in some, or putting on some new oil on that. Uh, I was just clearing it off and I thought I'll just stop and give you guys a quick look at uh, what's going on up here. I've had to put the, uh, the furry cover over the microphone because the wind noise, I first started to uh, record, the wind noise on the microphone was, was absolutely atrocious guys, you couldn't hear me at all. So uh, I'll whiz you around and uh, let you see what's going on. Well, the first thing you'll see is, is I've got a pile of all sorts on the lawn here because I've been clearing off the decking. I still have to remove the, the parasol. It's, it's sort of bolted into the deck in that corner. Uh, it's suffered quite a bit of damage as well. I, I think the material has ripped at the top. So I need to uh, have a look at that, probably repair it, but that needs to come off. And I'm going to uh, use my jet washer that's got a, a special attachment on the bottom for cleaning the deck. So I'll give that a good scrub today, let it dry off by tomorrow, and then hopefully put some new oil on that. But looking around the garden here now, um, the wind has actually died down quite a bit. It's still quite breezy, as you can see, looking up at the trees. And the pear tree here, as you can see, that has suffered some damage. I keep finding bits of tree all over the garden. Um, but some of the branches that would have had fruit on have actually snapped. If I lift you up into the tree there, you can see there's some damage there. There's quite a bit of damage throughout the tree. Uh, when you get in close and start looking, the apple tree seems to have fared okay. Uh, the plum tree doesn't look too bad, although there's a couple of broken bits here and there. You can see here, guys, it's snapped and hanging down. That'll die back. So uh, that actually, looking back up there, that would have had a plum on it. You can just see that one plum hanging on there. There's several branches have snapped off, I noticed, that have actually, or would have had plums on them. So such a shame that the wind has done that damage to the plum tree. Uh, I don't know if you can just see over the top there, I've lost a section of felt from the roof of my shed. My neighbour informs me it's, uh, it's halfway to the next village, somewhere down the, the cut, as we call it, the pathway that goes down to the main road. Somewhere down there, so we need to think about refelting the, the shed um, the rhubarb has been knocked about a bit. That happened yesterday. The wind was swirling in this corner. Uh, that rhubarb, because quite a few snapped stems in there, as you can see. And uh, they're all lying down. I'll have to retrieve those and uh, fetch them in the kitchen and use those as soon as. And the other thing I'm a bit disappointed about is the raspberries, because there's a lot of damage in here you can see the sort of the silvery sides of the leaves there they are on branches that have snapped and uh, when you get in here you can see they're all hanging down whoops i'm getting blown over now guys um, there's a lot of snap branches in here that would have borne fruit there's one there especially you can see all the tops have been snapped off and folded down and uh, some fallen down on the floor there so Quite a bit of damage in there, I noticed. I think my broad beans are still standing. They're usually one of the first to go when the wind is, is strong. So we'll just have a little walk around quietly and see the state of play here. Oh, we've lost one there. So one broad bean lying down. I hope if it's not snapped, it might come back. But. Uh, Looking down there myself, it looks like the stems snap, guys. Um, everything else seems okay at the moment. 
more damage to raspberries there they're all flopping down and lying down so yeah unusual times it's, it's just blowing a hoolie non-stop hello daisy daisy's uh, giving me a bit of a talking to there she is look hi daisy you're saying hello to everybody she actually came back online this morning and produced a lovely large brown egg she has been broody for a few days as i said and i've been out here as well pulling a few radishes um i just pulled these a little while ago i was going to add them to uh, to my supper this evening if we look in here uh i'm just looking to see if i can find another one to show you guys i'll find one shortly but looking at those ones i've already pulled you can see we've got some reasonable sized radishes already for harvesting here and uh, chard and the lovely lolo rossa back there i've had to earth up the potatoes again they uh, shot through the other day we had a little bit of rain on them and as fast as i was covering them with soil they've all pushed back up through again you look inside this shopping basket you can see there's one coming through there again another one breaking through there so they're doing well daisy you're creating a bit of a fuss today what's going on she gets very excited when i'm in the garden guys she always starts squawking and clucking away i notice the uh, shallots are all leaning over as well as i said the wind whistles down through this corner and uh, was swirling around here and has damaged the raspberries the rhubarb and all manner of other things uh, i've got an old chimney here that's been rattling around <laughs> overnight um, i'm trying to uh, the chimney is no good obviously but i wanted to save the handles i was going to use those on the gate and the legs i wanted to salvage and i'm hoping to get hold of an old washing machine drum i was going to attach those legs to the drum and make a stainless steel fire pit from the drum of the washing machine if i do that i might uh, make a little video of what i do with that guys that might be interesting so from windy wide open i guess it's uh, see you next time guys and hopefully uh, it won't be so windy and i would have finished cleaning off and oiling the deck i'll bring the camera out and the phone out and whatever else as i'm working out here and keep you updated with with what's going on so be interested to know what sort of weather you've had at your end of the country i know you guys some of you are down south some in scotland um certainly around here in the northeast of england this wind has been absolutely atrocious guys so i'm gonna crack on get the decking sorted i got a pile of mess there to sort through but first of all i think i'm gonna go in and have a cup of tea and warm up well whatever you're doing you stay safe look after yourselves come back and see us soon don't forget to subscribe that little red button down in the corner bye bye for now guys see you next time ta-da that's that little job done guys just gotta let it dry off now the decking's in quite good condition and with this wind and maybe with a bit of sunshine on there that won't take long to dry although I can feel a bit of moisture in the air I think we're going to get a bit of a shower again soon but I'm pleased with that that's a job done and uh, once it's dry I can get the oil on there
which will probably be tomorrow, if not Monday. Looking very smart now, I think. Thank you.